If you're having trouble with your oxy weld, making the puddles, and using filler rod, pay attention. I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna go ahead and make your puddle by making circles. Now, very important how you hold your torch. You don't want it straight down, pointing straight down at the metal, because it's gonna make a hole in that. It's too hot. You wanna push that heat forward. You wanna make a puddle, pushing that heat forward. And we want our rod right there in that heat, too, so it can become just a nice little molten ball on the end of that rod, and then we can just dip that right into that puddle. We'll see if we can get that done here. Okay, folks, so we got this acetylene flame. We're gonna get our neutral flame here. A Little bit of oxygen. See that blue tip coming all the way down there to that little neutral flame. That's what we're going for. Now, I have my piece of metal here. To get in the position that I was talking about earlier. Got my fill rod in the other hand. I'm gonna start making a circle with my fill rod nice down there close. Once I get a puddle, I can get my fill rod right close there. And when it gets a little molten ball of metal on the end, I can dip that right in there. And I'm dipping that filler rod right in that puddle. It may pop on you. Not a big deal. Work through it. Consistency is the key here. Keeping that filler rod the correct distance in order to melt it enough to have a nice molten puddle on the end there, but not too much to where it's just dripping off the end without you dipping it in there. The thing you gotta watch is make sure your rod isn't getting so short where it's heating up your your glove, your hand and your glove. So, I lost my puddle. Now I'm gonna try to get it back. I'm gonna keep my filler rod real nice and close so when I do get it back, I can dip right in that puddle. Oop, I got a hole. So, not a big deal. If I get a hole, I need to cool off my metal. If I have a hole, that probably meant that I put too much heat in that one area without putting fill rod in there. So I'm gonna come back a little bit and heat up behind it. Get a puddle back. Alright, so we got our oxy weld here. Looks pretty decent, nice and even. We filled in that hole. The hole is right here. We, you can actually see on the back side, we got a hole. You can see how we filled that in. We came back here and we heated it up and then we dipped more filler rod in, nice and even, and we filled in that hole. From this side, you can't really tell there was a hole there. On the back side, you can tell where it was that we filled in. So the secret here, folks, is being nice and consistent, keeping the fill rod real close, having the angle of the torch so that it heats up prior and it's also heating up your fill rod that you can just dip in there. All right, hope it helped, folks. Remember, Work hard all the time, hard work pays off.